Hello, everyone. I am so excited to introduce a very special guest today, not only because he's one of the most talented people I know, not only because he's a dear friend and roommate of mine, but also because he's part of St. Joseph's Home for Artisans. Everyone, this is Adam Moniz. Hello. <laughs> What's up? What's going so, on? So, Adam, how long have you been a member of St. Joseph's Home for Artisans? I moved in October 1st, so about a month and a half now. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. And how did you find out a little bit about our program? Uh, my sister scrolling through Instagram. <laughs> I actually didn't know that it was your sister. Yeah. That's cool. So she yeah. sent it to you and she said... She was like, this is awesome. I think it's just something you would like. Like, check it out. And I was like, yeah, for sure. Just graduated college, wanted to do something. So... That's it awesome. Perfect. It was perfect. For those of you who don't know, when I'm not here, I'm running St. Joseph's Home for Artisans, which is a Catholic yeah. art residency in the north end of Boston, where we bring in young Catholic artists like Adam to come deepen their artistry, grow in a faith-based community, and give back to the neighborhood through their gifts. And Adam was a really exciting candidate for us because he's the youngest artist we've oh, ever yeah. housed. And I'm usually really against it. I said that to you on your first yeah, Zoom yeah. interview. If you remember, I was like, you're way too young. We <laughs> yeah. have a rule. We do not bring in artists who are that young. But you're really talented. Oh, and you're really cool and kind. So I was totally <laughs> stumped. And I got off the phone with you, and I talked to Father Mike. And I was like, well, what do I do? He's great. And everybody said, give him a chance. Give him a chance. Oh, wow. And Adam, we are so glad that we gave you a chance. Because you yeah. are, I think, Thriving. Is thriving the right word? Yeah, definitely. You're killing it. So how has your experience been at the house? Oh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. I think every every aspect of it, you know. Well, let's go through those every a little bit. Like, how has it been for you creatively? Great, great. Um, yeah, you know, artists can get in and out of moods and swings, but there's always that nurturing kind of kind of environment to keep going and just... Everyone. Do you create every day? Yeah, every day. Yeah, I got my little I got my little station in the living room. Yeah. Kind of taking over the living room. You've seen it. I know. I have to pass it every time I go to take a shower. Yeah, you got to step <laughs> over my paint. Yeah. yeah, it's a small home that we have. It's actually a converted convent in the north end. Com comfy and cozy. Yeah, right. it's one floor with seven bedrooms. Uh, <laughs> so you paint every day. What else do you do every day? What's a day in the life of an artist look like? Yeah, day in, all right, start off with mass, mm -hmm. morning prayer, do all, all that good stuff, really get it going, make sure you're centered on the Lord. And that kind of brings everything together, you know. We eat together usually in the morning. Mm -hmm. Breakfast is usually really nice. Leah's cooking. You know, the other artists are cooking. And then, yeah, I usually go out because I just, the North End, such a cool place. There's always just little moments that you catch that, and as a painter, you kind of want to capture. So that sometimes gives me inspiration. And then I come back, sit in the living room, paint away, and yeah. Just hang out with everyone and so you're the boy in the house right now <laughs> the right boy, wow yeah not the man the sorry, boy no, in the no, house no, no, you're the man of the house i'm sorry not the boy in the house the man of the house because we've got two other female artists anna myself yeah I am, how's yeah. it been for you socially yeah great it's been great i well as you as you know i have seven sisters so <laughs> i'm i'm used to it you, you know? couldn't escape <laughs> i really couldn't and honestly i just kind of embrace it and yeah happy just to to be there we love having you there yeah. yeah absolutely <laughs> and what is your favorite project you've worked on since you've arrived oh honestly there's the boys on the third floor and they've been redoing the chapel mm -hmm. and um that was i just i didn't know they're doing that unexpected mm -hmm. and to have that opportunity um i mean they're just like you're a painter we're painting the chapel so that's been that's been one of them that i've really liked and i'm super stoked about the mural that's that, right. That's the big project that I'm really excited about. And what we've done already, just talking to the community center and getting to know them has been great. So Absolutely. So yeah. as I mentioned, we bring our artists in and we ask them to give back to the community through their gifts. And Adam's working on, we've done exhibits, we've done concerts, but Adam's project is probably the coolest project we've had <laughs> so far, which is that he is designing an original Boston-themed mural for the community center in the North End. And that yeah. by itself would be really cool. <laughs> But the coolest part is that he's inviting the young people of the community, especially the teenagers who might be interested in a future in art, to come help him paint the mural, which is going to be huge for yeah. these kids as they are going to now have some work to put in their portfolio as they apply for yeah. art school. Yeah. So it's cool because you received an opportunity and you're giving an opportunity. Yeah, there's always that that kind of weird thing as artists you don't know if you're like feeling feeling validated or just like your work's being seen and just graduating college that was a big thing of just like putting yourself out there so the younger these kids can really feel like they're a part of something 
Absolutely. and something really cool, take it on in their own community. Absolutely, I think that gonna is just awesome. It. Do yeah. you have any words of encouragement right now as I think we're going to uh, put in a clip of your artwork, <laughs> do you have any words of encouragement for other young artists? Um, yeah, um, I said yeah, just don't be afraid to, to create, um, even if uh, you, you uh, kind of searching what you want to do. Everyone gets stuck on style and where they want to fit in. But that I think it just comes along with not being afraid to create and where you draw inspiration from is where it's most genuine and what you're most into. So go all the way into that, that, uh, that passion. And yeah, and keep the Lord close through it all because yeah, that's where the desire I think is coming from. So if you do that, don't be afraid to do it. People will take notice of that. Well, I think so, that's awesome, Adam, and I yeah. think you're awesome. Thank you so much for being <laughs> here with us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. This is awesome.